In this video, I'm going to show the installation of Bluetex inside a building in Idaho. Now, this is a relatively new metal building. The customer wanted to stay cool and more comfortable in the summer. He also wanted to control moisture in the winter. Now, even though it's in Idaho, it can get up to 80, 90 degrees in the summer. So this building can be just crazy hot. He chose to go with the Bluetex uh, 6 millimeter Supreme, the foil on one side and white on the other. It also has a 2 inch peel and stick edge, that way you can seal the seams. As far as the install method, um, there's generally two ways to do an existing metal building as far as a retrofit application. You can either use the pins and washers, shown here on the left, or you can use the self-drilling screws and the washers shown on the right. Personally. I like the uh, screws and washers because you can attach uh, to one end of the Bluetex. It's super durable. You can pull it as hard as you want. You can't tear it. You can't rip it. And this makes for a nice, clean, tight assembly. Now, if you're going to use the screws and washers, I'd go ahead and pre-assemble a bunch together. Um, I also have a different video on different install methods, and the link uh, will be in the description below. As far as getting to the install process, basically you want to start on the walls and work your way up to the ceiling. Um, as you can see here, he started on uh, one wall. Now the only thing I would do different, you'll notice this tab here. I would have flipped this piece over and put that tab underneath the bottom. That way you have a cleaner finish and the flaps would be pointing down when you go up. But other than that, it's a, it's a great install. Here's an example of the pins sticking out through the washers. You can see those right here kind of sticking out. Here's an example of the screw and, and washer being put into uh, the Bluetex insulation. And basically just use a hex uh, nut uh, screwdriver and, and drive it right in. This is what it looks like on the six millimeter foil white product. After you install these, you can come through with our matching white tape and cover it up. Um, that's an easy way to make it look nice and clean. Um, as I mentioned, I'd pre-assemble a bunch of these, or you could also pre-paint them if you wanted. And here's an example of a pre-painted screw and washer on the six millimeter white product. As far as install, this is kind of in process. You can see he's peeled off the backing here and taped that seam down so it makes it a lot cleaner. One thing I want you to take a look at is he's after the second row, he's approaching this area right up here where you have the angled uh, supports or the bracing for the roof. And there's a couple different ways to handle this. You've got two different options. One, you can run it up, over, all the way across the bottom. Or two, you could come through, go cut behind it, and go all the way on the bottom of your top uh, framing. Either way will work, and I'll give you some uh, information on, on both methods here in a second. So this customer, he actually went up, he went over, across, and then across the bottom. You can see uh, it makes a great, nice, clean install. Here's a better picture of the finished building. Uh, basically, you want to create a new, solid, and continuous inside surface. This is kind of like if you took a big bag or balloon and you blew it up inside the building. This way, any warm, moist air can never get to the cold metal and cause condensation. Here's the framing where they cut around. You can see he just cut around each one. Now, he actually removed these braces. They were held on by four screws each. He removed them, put the Bluetex up, cut the, cut the little squares, and reattached them. They had four screws. He came through with his screw gun on each side. He was able to push up the Bluetex just about an inch or so and reattach those screws no problem. Here's a detail of a window finish out. He used the three inch tape to come around and make a nice clean finish on the frame. And we supply the matching white tape also. So once again, this is an example of the Bluetex Supreme six millimeter foil white product. However, the install process would be the same if you used any of the foil and foam products from bluetexinsulation.com. And if you have any questions about your specific project, please email us or give us a call and be sure to order your free samples. We want you to get these samples in your hands because 
Bluetex products really are better than anything else out on the market. Once you feel them, you'll say, wow, this is a great product and I want to use it in my building.